Bismillah. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So, well, welcome to the class, inshallah. Today we're going to have a short session. Okay, we're, we're going to be, inshallah, done by maybe another 45 minutes. Okay? Uh, but today we are going to discuss a few important things, what you can expect from this course. Uh, the kind of things you'll be doing and um, and the kind of things you'll get to take home with you if you continue with the class. Uh, please feel free to take, grab a chair. <coughs> so, what's a robot? Okay, Abdullah? A thing that moves around. Some robots have their own minds. Okay. Um, okay. Who else? What do you think? Um, what do you think? I think there are things like um, they like. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Yes. Go ahead. To do stuff. Okay. Good job. Actually, do you know who was the first person who used the word robot? It was a Czech uh, uh, writer who first time used the word, a Czech word called robot. Robot in Czech language means, you know what's a Czech language, right? You know Czech Republic as a country? Okay, Czech Republic is a country, okay? So, Czech is a language that people in Czech Republic speak. So he used the word robot, which basically meant a slave. Okay? So it basically meant a slave. So what does a slave do? They do things, right? Um, so, so a robot is basically like a, like a slave. So it does things that we tell it to. Right? Uh, so, uh, have you seen a robot in your life? A real robot? You haven't seen it? What have you seen? That shot a ball, okay. Yes. Okay, yes? I saw one right now. Okay, yeah, you're seeing it right now, good job. Uh, chances are, chances are that you have either have had a robot, if you didn't have a robot for yourself, you have definitely used things that robots have made. Okay, so for example, how many of you have cars? in your home. Does everybody have a car? Right, looks like everybody has a car. A lot of things, okay, a lot of things in a car are made by robots. So robots are good at doing a few things, but they're not good at doing a few other things. For example, if I asked you to do something over and over again, 24 hours a day, how would you feel about it? For example, I ask you to keep sitting here and just keep sitting here. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the whole year, all your life. What's gonna happen to you? Are you gonna be bored? What do you think? I'd be bored to death. Bored to death, I'd literally, die. right? So 
we get bored if we if somebody asks us to do something over and over and over again. For example, somebody asks, puts us puts us in a factory and says, "Okay, just screw this." Um, this, with this, this screwdriver, eight hours a day. And all you do is, there's the line, machines are coming in, you, all you do is just screw one, one screw. And you keep doing it, you know, one day, the second day, the third day. Ultimately, you know, you're gonna be bored, right? Because you're not learning anything. So those types of jobs where we as humans get bored, robots are very good at doing those things, right? What robots are not good at doing things are the kind of things that we take for granted. For example, do you know how much processing does it take for us to walk, to take a step? We never even think about it, do we? No. We never even think about it, right? But if we were making a robot that could walk without falling and tripping, it would take a lot of processors, memory, a lot of machinery, a lot of programs to, to, to teach it how not to fall and things like that. You know, I made a robot last night. Here is one. Get this little robot. So I have to put these, these big foot around it to stop it from falling. Otherwise, it will fall. Right? And this is a very simple test, just walking. How much, how much effort does that take to walk? Is it really difficult to walk? It's very easy, right? Can, can you do your Well, who walks? If you're young, then it's not difficult, right? If you're young, it's not difficult, right? So, this is, this is as young as it can get, right? It's not broken, all the parts are here. Uh, but to make it walk, I have to put these long legs, you know, it has a big foot, and then these stabilizers so that it does not fall and trip. Okay? So, so these types of that take thinking. They could be very difficult for a robot to do. However, we will give simple commands to a robot. So we'll start with building a simple robot. We'll start from here. This robot is a very simple, very simple robot. It's got arms, okay? It's got these feet. This is called bipedal, okay? Bi means two, pedal means feet, okay? So this is bipedal robot. It's got one motor inside of it. If you look inside, you see a motor, right? So this motor runs with these batteries here, and then there is uh, um, uh, Harold, can you please get a few chairs from the kitchen? So, so this there, there, there is some mechanical component to it that converts that motion of the of the. Um, of the motor, the rotational movement into a linear movement. So, so if I were to show you, look at this. Does it look like it's walking? Right? But this is, this is made out of cardboard. It's not very stable, not sturdy. It falls very easily. However, it's a very good way of, uh, of uh, finding out how you can make a motor which only knows how to run in a circle, in a rotation, how to make it, how to convert that motion into something that looks like walking. Okay? So we'll start from here, inshallah, next week. Then also next week, we are going to build this little robot. This robot has, has main body. This is the main body in my fingers, okay? This is the main body of the robot. From this, some of you are going to make this type of robot. 
some of you are going to convert this into like a like a scorpion, like a like imitating an animal, and some of you are going to make it like a tank, like a like a car machine. Okay, and we'll see how basic components can be used to to give this robot a motion. Okay. We will also make, inshallah, this little car. Okay. We'll make this little car. This car is solar powered. And this is one of the very simple robots, very simple machines. And in this one, you'll see up close how you can convert one type of rotational movement into another type of rotational movement, right? Because this motor moves, spins, right? So that spinning will be converted in such a way that this, these wheels will move. And we'll, we'll play with it, inshallah, uh, after the class outside in the parking lot. We'll see wh how fast it goes. So when you build it, we'll, we'll have a quick competition outdoors, right? Who has built the best car? Who, whose car is the fastest, okay? So we'll, we'll do that competition. So after we're done th with this, then the last project, the last two weeks, we are going to use this. This is called a recon rover. Okay. A recon rover, this thing can move across, it can take a program, you can program it, you can tell it go, you know, 10 feet straight, then make a right turn, make a left turn, say this, say that, and it could actually bring a can of soda for you from, from the store. As long as the store is, you know, within a reasonable distance. How about that? <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. <coughs> so, robots are of different types. Some robots have wheels. So for example, this, this car has wheels in it, and this is still a robot. How many have seen that, uh, that Curiosity rover that has gone to Mars? Have you seen it? You have seen it? Others haven't seen it? You want to see how the, how the Mars rover works? What is the name of the Mars rover? What is the name of the Mars rover? I just said it. Curiosity. Curiosity. Okay. This is how this jet is taking it to Mars. Who doesn't know what Mars is? Good job, you guys are smart kids. Okay, so it lands. After landing, let's see. So this is landing. See that little car hiding?
Assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum come on and teach us so now the rover has landed now it's going to start up start working according to the program that it would it would give us right this this rover has been programmed to do certain things on mars yes but mars isn't a reasonable this more than like 3 million miles i know i know So that's why we're not going to make a robot that goes three million miles. Okay, we're going to make a which goes, you know, maybe thirty feet, maybe three hundred feet. Okay. So you're saying people are going to program this thing so thirty feet to be. That's right. That's right. So it, it it has waken up. Now it's taking all the videos of how the how Mars looks like, and then it's got its own internet connection. It's a different type of internet there, not like Wi-Fi. Okay. <laughs> But so, so using that connection, it sends all the images and all the videos that it's recording uh, back to back to Earth. It's like a it's like a size of a uh, Prius. Okay, so it's like a car. Um, so we're not going to make that big of a of a robot at this time. Maybe one day you will, inshallah. But at this time, we will make a little rover, you know, like this, which we will program. So the principles remain the same. The things that you're going to learn from this, you can use those principles, that that learning, uh, to uh, to to build a bigger robot. Okay. You must have seen uh, these robots that have arms. You know, they go, they do things like in a in a factory, right? They're also robots. So if we go back, if we go back here, you'll see there are some industrial robots like this one. This is an industrial robot. This is like a, a, this 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 robot moves, but it moves like a like a spider, okay, with his legs. And then this is like more like an entertainment type robot. Okay. So, um, have you seen any movies or cartoons that have robots in them? Which one? Transformers, right? They're robots, basically. Um, so, I'll show you one one real robot that military uses. Right? This this little robot is controlled by this laptop that is sitting right next to it. Um, it could be used for military purposes. It could be used for medical purposes. Let's say if there's an outbreak of of something. Uh, you know something dangerous that humans cannot go. If they vent, they'll get disease and they'll die. So instead of sending humans, they can send the robots um, uh, to to investigate what's going on. Um, this this particular robot is called Roomba, and they uh, this company that makes this robot made 142 million. They made a lot of money uh, last year by selling these robots. Um, again, who remembers what this thing is? Mars Curiosity rover, right? Um, and this one is uh, this one is a uh, under underground um, like your undersea exploration um, uh, robot. Okay, so now let's look at some of the some of the major components of what makes. So a robot always has an input device. Okay, a robot has an input device. An input device would be, uh, for example, a microphone to hear what people are saying, right? Or a camera to see what's going on. Or a sensor of some other sort. So an input device could be different types of sensors. It could be a program, like a like a software program, like a computer program built into it. 
and it has a computer controller that controls its movements. What to do, what not to do. Okay. And then it has a mechanical arm or wheels or, or legs to, to make motion, to make movement. And of course it needs a power supply, right? What is the power supply for this little robot? The solar panel, right? What is the power supply for this robot? Battery. The batteries, right? What is the power source for this? This one also has a solar panel. What is the power source for this? Batteries. It's got batteries going underneath, right? So all robots need power, right? All robots need power. Okay. Let me let me take you to a few other things that you would understand. Okay. Okay. A leg drip robot, a wheeled robot, uh, underwater vehicle, aerial vehicle like a like an aeroplane. So what can robots do? Jobs that are dangerous for humans, right? Like in a, in a military situation or medical situation, um, or, or for example, things like repetitive jobs, things that have to be done over and over and over again. So these robots don't get tired, they just keep doing them. Okay, again, remember I told you that Czech novelist Karl Kapek, he was the first one who used the word robot. What's his name? Karl Kapek. Uh, where was he from? Czech Republic, okay? So remember this. What does robot mean? A servant worker or a slave. Okay, there are three laws for making a robot. You're gonna have to understand these three laws when we make robots. Number one, you cannot make a robot that can injure a human being. Okay, you cannot make a fighting robot that fights with humans. <laughs> okay? Yes? Well, that violates this law, doesn't it? Yeah. That's bad. Okay. They shouldn't be doing this. Okay? So you cannot build a robot that injures a human being, right? And we will not make any robot like that. Number two, a robot must obey orders. If you give them order, must obey. Robot should not say, uh, like Tamil says sometimes, Kalu, I'm not doing it. Right? You can't say it. Robot cannot say it. Yes. That's why, that's why when we are building, we make sure that the robot does not go crazy. No, what if it goes malfunctioning? <laughs> well, if it malfunctions, it should stop itself, right? The, the programming should be that if something goes wrong, don't, don't go crazy, just stop, okay? Just stop and let, the, let people know that you, you have a problem, that needs to be fixed, okay? Don't go crazy. So we can make robots that go crazy. Number three, um, a robot must protect its existence, except when Saving itself may mean that it's, it's gonna harm somebody else, right? In that case, it should not protect itself. It should, it should take the harm, not harm anybody else, okay? So all these robots that we're gonna make, inshallah, in this course, and maybe in the future as well, we will make sure that, that those robots follow these three rules, okay? So we're not gonna be making anything for military. <coughs> but we can make things for, you know, uh, that will help us in the in the house, 
Have you seen that uh, robot that, that cleans like a vacuum cleaner robot, right? Yeah. It's very expensive, like four or five hundred dollars. We're also gonna make a robot with golden gate and Yeah, or go get us for like can, right? Or or dinner or lunch. <laughs> okay, we can put the money on there. Yeah, we can make that. We can make that. Okay, so here's the first robot that was made. Then uh, uh, this is this robot is called Puma, Programmable Universal Machine for Assembly. Um, these are different robots. Now, of course, since 1995, in the last 15 years, robots have become very smart. Um, again, what is this robot? Puma. The Mars rover, right? So I keep showing you this Mars rover over and over again because Mars rover is, is a robot that can think on its own. Okay? It is programmed to think on its own because you know how far away Mars is? When we, when we send a, a command from Earth, it takes eight minutes to reach uh, Mars. So if we told the robot to stop, there's a ditch, stop. It's not gonna find out until eight minutes later. <laughs> you can, you can you know, pre-plan, you can know there's a that, ditch. That's right, so that's why this robot is a very smart robot. It does not need to wait on these types of commands. It can make decisions on its own. If it sees there's a ditch or there's something dangerous, it can shut down, it can stop itself, it can turn around. Uh, so that's why, you know, we'll, we'll talk about different components of Mars rover several times in this course, okay? Okay, um, okay, so these are some of the components, uh, uh, mechanics, the mechanical things that we are going to use. Uh, remember, <coughs> while building a robot, we need to understand power, which means electricity. We need to understand how electricity works. We need to understand uh, electrical components, the components that work with electricity. We also need to understand electronics. Okay. What, is it, what is the difference between electronics and electrical? Electronics is more like when we, when we are talking about electrical components that don't move. For example, a motor. Motor has a mechanical part in it. So, so that is electrical. Yes. Can you make it? What? The thing. What thing? The thing that's on your computer that doesn't work. Doesn't work. Power point. Can you make it? Power point. I make a lot of power points. No. I you <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's let's focus. Let's focus. Let's not uh, divert. So. Uh, so then there are electronics. Electronics are things that do not have moving parts in them. For example, do you think, um, do you think this, there is any motor inside this TV? Right? I don't think so because motor would be big, first of all. Second, uh, if there was motor, there would be noise, right? When motor you know works, there's a noise. In a laptop, there's a fan. There's a fan, you're right. But, but the fan is not really, the computer itself, it's just there to keep it cool, right, when it gets warm. So, so there's no noise that comes out of it, and there's no machine that makes the, the picture come on the TV. So this, the inside of this is electronics. Okay. Uh, we'll also learn about mechanical engineering, how mechanics work, how things move. Um, we'll also learn about computer programming. Okay. So, so Robotics is not just computer science. It's not just mechanical engineering. It's not just electrical engineering. It's a combination of a lot of different disciplines, right? So after this course, if you want to become an electrical engineer, you'll have a very good understanding of how, how electrical things work. You want to become a mechanical engineer. You want to become a computer programmer. Anything you want to do, you will have a very good understanding of how all these different things work. Okay, questions? Is the computer program going to be part of this? Yes. That will come in 
when we when we program rover. thing that I'm very excited about is building things. Okay, that you will know with your own hands how to make things. This is very important. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times we, we do a lot of other things, but we forget how to do things with our own hands. Okay? Yes. So how long did it take for Rover to reach Mars? Um, I think it took uh, three years, I think. something traveled at the speed of light, then it will take it eight minutes to reach uh, Mars over. But speed of light is really, really fast. Yeah. We don't have anything that goes nearly as much. Okay, so, um, so anyway, uh, we'll be building these things. Some of these things do very simple tasks, but they teach you very important lessons. Most of these classes, well, in fact, all of the classes going forward are going to be workshop style. So you'll be actually continuously working. I won't be lecturing. Today is the lecture. That's it. Okay? So we won't be lecturing. I won't be lecturing. You won't be sitting in and, and listening to me. You'll actually be working on different uh, projects and on making these things. So I'll be moving around, uh, you know, from one, one group of students to another group of students making sure that everybody is, is able to do tasks. So, so inshallah, we'll have easily three hours, four hours um, uh, making those things. So inshallah, next time, we'll start at the same time as we started today, immediately after Duhar, and we'll go all the way till Asar, inshallah. And uh, if you can finish it, then you'll be allowed to take it home, uh, continue working it on it as a homework, and, and then bring it back next week. Yes. Yes, yes, you'll get to keep them. Everybody, everybody will work on their own. You can sit together, you can help each other, but you'll be working on your own robot. So once you're done, they're yours to keep. You take them home, inshallah. Yes. So we're not gonna work in groups? No, no, you can still work in groups, but you'll not be working all on one robot. You'll all be working on multiple robots. Yes, actually it does have a camera, but it's, this camera is not like a, it's not like our camera. This is this is more like an infrared sensor type thing. So it sees if there's something in the middle, if there's a, if there's an obstacle or something like that. Uh, but it does not have vision like our eyes. This this one does not. So you could turn it right into the wall and yeah. go thirty feet and turn. Yeah, if it saw there was there was a wall, it'll. Depending upon how we program. Is that um, is it possible you can change your day I mean, if nobody else has a problem with that? Because okay. the, the weekends, at least with me, I like to I, and I have I like to take time and go out and do things. I see. So many parents are here. What do you guys think if we moved it to Friday? Uh, immediately after Juma continued on um, until a little after after. Is there anybody who would have a problem with that? Please raise your hand. Okay. Uh, would any other day work for you during the weekdays? Uh, probably not. I see. <laughs> well, next time we design after this basic, but this is, this is very basic course. After this, um, I have uh, a, a lot more advanced courses where, where the programming will be done um, on a computer, it will connect the, the machine with a USB and, con and transfer the programs onto robots. Um, those robots are very complicated, they need a lot more attention and we're not gonna have seven years old in that class, we'll, we'll probably need at least 10 years or older 
for that part. So, uh, but this is this is very basic. This is where we start. Yes. What's a USB? USB. Uh, this is USB. You have seen this, right? This is a USB. So this USB port. There are um, uh, the, the next class after after this one that I'm going to have. It takes a USB input. So we program on a computer and connect it to a USB, and then we transfer the program onto the computer onto the rover. Here on this one, we're going to do all the programming on this. You're not going to connect this to a computer. So all the programming is done right here on the CPU. Uh, but the future ones, we're going to program it separately, and then we're going to um, you know transfer it onto um, onto the robot. Um, let me show you some of the things that I would love you to do. So, what do you think this is? What's going on in here? This is a football match between robots. Okay, so they can. So these robots can do a lot more than what we will be doing in this uh, course. Yeah, they can. So they yeah, they move. They're a lot more complicated. And their software program is a lot more complicated. Uh, but um, that's right. So a lot of programming goes into it. Um, but these are these are mostly college students, right? Uh, if we continue from here, inshallah, and you are in high school or in college, you'll have so much knowledge, inshallah that you will be able to design even better and more complicated things. So we need to start you know, somewhere where it's doable, where it's easy to do, and inshallah all of you should be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. If, um, you know, I hope this gives you a good idea what we will be doing. If you think this is something you want to do, please uh, make sure you're here, inshallah, next Saturday. But the whole program is a conference room, so make sure you get a time to go. Um, and we need maybe after the class, we will start, inshallah. And, and we'll not have a set of ideas, we will have tables. And there will be, you know, four students sitting on each table you guys will be working on your own uh, devices. So, for example, I will give you, uh, every student is going to have this box next uh, next Saturday. So in this box, you will see that I will give you these basic tools. This is it. So you guys convert these into a robot of your choosing. You could make a, like a bipedal robot, you could make a scorpion, you could make a tank, whatever you want to make. Um, and then there's a little motor that comes with it that makes, that gives it life, you know, like motion. This is a little motor. What? Well, this is one of the easiest ones, so, you know, let's go. Yeah. But inshallah, we'll, uh, we'll work together. We'll work together. We'll make sure that all of you are able to accomplish this task. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, this is going to be this size. This particular, this particular thing. But if you master this, if you are good with this, and you want to do something more, I can always get uh, a little bit more complicated and bigger uh, robots for you. Okay. 
So it depends how good you do in this course. Um, uh, so that will that will define how we go on for the for the next phase. You register online, right? Yes. Uh, please make sure to register online so I know how many more uh, kits to order. I have ordered ten, uh, ten of each uh, of these things. Um, but I do want to make sure that every child has their own kit so they can work independently um, and in, in team at the same time, you know, help each other, but they work, they work on their own food. So at the end of the class, they walk away with something that they've created with their own hands. Okay, so um, parents, please register them as soon as you can so I can place an order and children are not left alone. Inshallah, I will see you next Saturday. Okay. You guys excited? Who is excited? Show of hands. Good job. I'm very excited. So, Inshallah.